So it's Thursday, Skegness weekend this weekend. Um, been everywhere and anywhere this month, Cowden Beath Endo. Uh, diesel prices aren't the cheapest, so um, we didn't know what we were going to do because it's very close to uh, our holiday. Um, Skegness and Buxton are both there, but we've got a few points lately. So we wanted to have a try. So we are going to do um, we are going to do Saturday at Skeggy. We're not going to do the Sunday. So we're just getting the cart ready. Uh, we've just painted a few bits. Oh, we're dark. And we've also just um, greased up all the bearings and swapped a couple and stuff as well. So um, see how it goes. So it's all ready essentially. Um, work Saturday. Uh, load straight up, straight through to Skeggy. So that's where we are. But we we are doing it. See the. So it's race day and I've been in charge of bumpers this week, so keep your eyes peeled. Two okay, well, hours later. Um, straight from work, so we're a bit peckish. So we have literally just stopped to get something to eat. We're going to be there a decent enough time. There's a back panel for the Giants. Come on today. So we're off for some snap. As always, our lass always wants snap, so she's ran off already. Skeggy bound here we come. We've greased everything we can on trailer, on cart, sorry. We've changed quite a few things. Um, and I think we got the brakes system sorted. Um, we'll have a look at video later to see whether that's true, because last time we thought we'd got brakes problem sorted. It took every man and his dog in pits and it still struggled a little bit, so we will see when we get there. But yeah, Skeg Vegas here we come. City. So race one update. <coughs> that right there is a very grumpy Dobson. Um, went out, brakes were working. Got to the middle, brakes were no longer working. But they worked. The field had a paddy. <laughs> Yes, he did. <laughs> but the weird kid. So, race two is on after these heritage. So we're going to get him loaded up and hopefully have something to tell you after. Still got a bit of work to do before next race, but we uh, when we come off at the second race, there's still a tweak or two that we need to do. But we've run out of time, so we're going out race two. Seeing as though I just changed the caliper. Oh yeah. So as you can see here, um, Cara got straight on with the job um, with a bit of help of uh, Spence, thank you Spencer. Long story short, what we're trying to fix here is obviously we went out um, and the brakes failed on us. Uh, we'd bled them up in the week, uh, we'd done plenty of test runs in the car park and it was spot on first time. Every time, went out onto the track, it braked a few times as well and all of a sudden, pop! I had absolutely no brakes whatsoever. Um, when we got back to the pit we stripped the caliper down and realised that basically the pad had actually dropped out, the piston had made all the fluid go out and we'd actually no brakes at all. Spencer, Car and myself did his best and we got it fixed. <laughs> Race two done. Uh, come back in one piece. Yeah, we're in one piece. Union Jacks aren't like. So, all good. Rocking the giant. Yeah, um, we were running six for most of the race. We were in top five, six. Um, quick restart. Um, and for a start off, the positive from the restart is it seems to have solved itself. We were on the ball with the restart. We we're pushing Carl Nunn. 
if anyone knows stock cars, he is pretty much the dong, um, and we're pushing him. Um, we race really well. Just the last corner, um, we ended up um, just getting a tap from behind from Liam Powell. 100% fair, but he just made me bounce. Um, and he sneaked through, and so did a couple of others. So we went over the line about six, six in a line all together. So all good. Oh, I don't. See the excuses. <laughs> See the. You should never be allowed on camera, Paul. Well, was it? Were they too fast, or what? Can you see? Just have a look on points board, Paul. Just have a look on points board. Now that's a misprint. Get away! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Cheers, Paul. Anyway, on that one, oh, no, we'll see you. Let's do something a bit new, different for once. We, um, our cart's working all right. We only need to put some petrol in, so we'll just do a bit of a walk around. In the sun of Skeggy. <laughs> Unfortunate damage for Graham Wheat in first race, just been talking to him. Axel bent and it's broken his chassis, so he's decided to call it a day. He's gonna get that fixed and come back tomorrow. Always the men to beat. If you've ever seen uh, Facebook, there's also Daniel. Hello! Nunny also does um does, does a Facebook one, so it's good. <laughs> one day you'll bring that to me. One day, one day maybe. So, duddy. It's always a good crack, is pits. There's more to it than just uh, just turning up and uh, and racing. Everybody's got something to teach us. How that race for you, sir? Yeah, it's good. Last one, you? Yeah, yeah, you caught you caused me to bobble a little bit and unfortunately yeah, lost a few right, places, but down, yeah, I finished just behind you, mate. So yeah, yeah we're all good racing, wasn't it? Not too bad. I oh, was drifting around corners. I'm not sure exactly what these things are meant to drift, to be honest. But I'll uh, I'll learn something new on that one. But yeah, good racing. Craig, come on. How's your racing going so far today, mate? Not too bad. Time for eleventh in that race, so not too bad. Got to bounce through the track. Today. You weren't eleventh. I were eleventh. 17 got in weird. 17 <laughs> I got shoved out at weird, don't you worry. I've just had a word with Liam. I've, I had to cut it off because we might have sworn at each other. So he says, he says I shoved you on last corner. I saw you bouncing. I went, yeah, I fucking did bounce. Don't you worry. But yeah, enjoying it, mate. Yeah, you here good. tomorrow. Yeah, we're here tomorrow. Good, good. A new red top. Yeah, new red top. Get that. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Don't talk to him. He's upset. Not playing. Not going home. You going home? <laughs> Mark, ah, blue don't suit you, old pal. Mark, you've got to stop. We're recording you actually doing some Bradley again, helping out. This time he's decided to put the uh, back panel on that hard that nobody can get it off, so it's uh, it's now come back to him to actually take it off. Look at that, made it look easy, pal. Well done, Brad. How do you feel on that last race? Mint. Loving it. We're confident, we're racing. I'm pushing people back. But you can't move from 11th. But I can't <laughs> seem to get, no matter what I do, I can't seem to get better than 11th, but we're just getting points after points after points. Do we not think we should change his number? Possibly. 17 looks a little bit like 11th. You know when you're, uh, you know when you're eating such as um, 
Danny Numbach. Because you're actually going that little bit quicker into corner than him than you do in summer right? because people like that. A, a what bit what, what were restarts like? Restarts were on the ball, there were no lagging down in restarts. We're on the winner. We're getting somewhere and we're enjoying it. Yes. I don't want to enjoy it. it's two hours journey or driving. Yeah, but you've got me and Cara to keep you company. Yeah, you're both going to sleep for like 10 minutes and yeah, you know it won't. Might still be waiting to come in to put all my diesel back in. If you're really lucky, you might get some smoke. Yes, yeah, just to uh, reference that smoke in my car. I think Cara's pretend to forget it. It's not her car anymore. Not my rules anymore. No. <laughs> you're not to end this video with Siddy. Siddy! 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 So Skeggy, uh, obviously we'll do a short and sweet conclusion, not to bore you guys. Um, we only did the Saturday, couldn't do the Sunday, you'll see why in just a second. I hope it don't bore you, but we're just putting something a bit different in there. Um, but yeah, um, brakes, obviously we've mentioned it a couple of times, we'd bled them up, we tested them, we'd gone up and down car park loads. Every time we put big anchors on, uh, we were even locking up, we were getting better brakes than we've ever had before. Got it off at trailer, braked it, braked it in pits. Did a few little tests, got out on track, um, put my foot down, braked a few times, and then all of a sudden, pop. Uh, no brakes at all. Went into the middle, thought, shall we, shall we not? Found that we couldn't even stop. We hit the tyres, um, so there were absolutely nothing, not even a little bit. So we made the decision to pull off before the race even started. Uh, got a bollocking from Ian because he thought we were going the wrong way out track. We are all going off, sorry Ian. Um, health and safety, all that. We, we, we're good that way guys uh, got into car park went to brake <laughs> where trailer was obviously there weren't any brakes but what else could I do to engine off and everything ended up 200 yards further down car I thought I'd dump the cart and, and done a runner um, long story short um, the pad uh, caliper had come loose don't know ins and outs exactly why but it had dropped a pad on the actual track so all the fluid had come out the fluid all over the wheel um, and everything so Spencer and Cara actually started it all uh, Cara dug in we did a slight modification that a lot of other guys have done to some of the calipers as it is to make them a little bit less um, messy um, and got it sorted. Uh, but we missed the first race, obviously. Went out with the second race. Worried a little bit about the brakes, but not too bad. Started off a little bit slow because we didn't know whether we were going to have brakes or not. So it always worries you that little bit. Um, but ended up in the points. Um, had some good racing and ended up in points. And we did a restart as well, which you'll see in the video. Um, and... The video starts just after it restart, but to begin with, we were pushing and pushing, so we didn't lose ground, but we did on first corner, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, that were good. Um, and then final, finals are always a bit tastier. I think results in finals are always a lot better. Um, and we ended up in points again. So in our last three race meetings now, uh, we've ended up outside the points by one place once. In the points six times out of seven and with one retirement so listen that's massive um, leaps and bounds uh, we've got some decent points and are above quite a few that are higher grades than us now so we're, we're getting somewhere we're not going to get cocky listen I, i've always said i just want yellow top um bit of a bugbear though can't seem to get past 11th 11th seems to be um, a constant result which is obviously more than 12th which is better um, but we seem to be getting a lot of 11ths um single digits would be good i think if i had to make a couple of mistakes in that second race we would have got there that's my bad. Um, going back last season, we could have had some six and sevens easy, but we uh, we had some mechanical issues. Um, Northampton were one at worst. We were fifth when we blew a chain. Um, nobody hardly touched us with a little rub, and chain came off. If it hadn't been for that, we would have got a fifth or a six at Northampton. So we have been there. Um, there's a lot of guys that are a lot better than us. Don't get me wrong. Um, we've got a lot to learn still, but we're getting there. Overall, though, Skeggy. Uh, always a decent track to go to. It's obviously a lot more commercial than some others. I love it, me. Um, and that new sign is mint. It's all over the internet, so we might as well get it out of the way. Elephant in room, that sign is mint. So if you ever go to Inga Mills, look out for the sign. Look out for the racetrack. If you're ever at Inga Mills, get your sense there. Get your sense to the racetrack. Support Rob Speak and what he's trying to do with that track. Um, you know, enjoy it. So for that, from Stock Cats vlog for this week, my favourite saying. Ian, it is Sithy. Not whatever you were saying, mate. Sithy.
So complete um, flip side to stock cart racing is when we end up on our way down to Donington um, for the TCR, Chris? TCR Racing, um, courtesy of Liquid Molly today. Uh, one of our sponsors and not only that, the great um, supplier of ours at SDL. Um, and just on the flip reverse, let me just show you. The Mini's gone out for a run, woohoo! from TCR from the weekend um, thank you to our sponsors Liquid Molly obviously just giving us a day out um, got to speak to some really nice people had a good chat with Isaac Smith who was in TCR like I say in the video brilliant lad um, good future against you know for going for him um, some good racing from him that day had a good couple of positions uh, so well done to him and Matty Smith who races in the Liquid Molly Slicks Championship which they're just beasts a lot of them cars again another top genuine blokes we've got got to see behind the scenes in some other things other than just stock carts but listen it's all racing isn't it so uh, we just love the racing we love the connections that we've got um you know we really do love the products they're all linked to sdl obviously liquid molly has sold our main sponsors sdl so um dave thanks for the uh, the day out um we can't thank you enough so just thought we'd put a video on about something a bit different than what we did mega weekend um really tired um time for some sleep time to catch up now so thank you for watching guys like and share our vids see ya city <laughs>